Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the super attacks that you can currently farm in DBZ Dokken Metal. So obviously there's a couple events that have come out. We'll take a look at all of those but we won't be covering things like the Super Dragon Ball Heroes events as those units can't really be used to farm super attacks. So what we'll start off with uh, is we're going to start off with the first of the events that have been reopened uh, and that is the reinvention of Vegeta event so in this event you can get a GT Vegeta a GT base form Vegeta currently there is not a unit that requires this Vegeta the only Dokkan Fest or the only Dokkan Awakening Vegeta or summonable Vegeta is the GT one and he starts as a Super Saiyan. So currently there is no need for this Vegeta in terms of farmable super attacks. So that's pretty much it. Obviously uh, you know for the most part the Vegeta Awakened version for the Giant Ape version also cannot be used so you're pretty much unable to use that Vegeta in any way. Next is Casserelle from the Trump Pride Troopers event, he cannot be used. And then we have the Warriors of Universe 6 event. So this drops a Hit, a Champa and a Vados that can all be used. All pretty straightforward, they all drop as SSRs so they're 50% chances. The Hit can be used for the Tech Hit, Int Hit and the Strength Hit units. Uh, and then of course you can also use the Vados for the Int Vados unit. And of course you can use the Chomper for the physical Chomper unit. So yeah, there's quite a few units that you can use these guys for. I think that's five in total. Uh, so it's a pretty good event from that perspective. They all drop as SSRs. You can awaken them all to UR from the event. So you can use them as 100% or 50% options in terms of Kai's. Then in terms of this event, there is a Vegeta Jr. that can drop. Now Vegeta Jr. is not really a usable card as there's no summonable Vegeta Jr. unit at all. And then of course, if we look at World Tournament units, there's only a Vegeta Kid, which is Vegeta in his kid form. Uh, so you can't use Vegeta Jr. there either. So that's a little bit unfortunate, so that event currently cannot really be used for anything else. So you're not going to be able to farm anything from there. The next event that we'll take a look at is the Ultimate Android Saga event. Uh, so there's the GT Ultimate Android Saga event. There's a couple farmable super attacks from here. So there are three farmable super super farmable super attacks from here we have the freezer final form gt the cell perfect form gt who are both able to be used as farmable super attacks uh, for their reciprocal namesakes so you can use freezer for the physical freezer final form gt uh, this unit over here and you can also use the cell for the int cell final form gt or the int perfect form cell gt as well so you can farm both of those unit super attacks using this event and you can also farm the super attack of hell fighter 17. android 18 doesn't have any viable options because the android 18 is a android 18 gt so there's no other real viable options uh, but in terms of hell fighter 17 there is actually the int version uh, there is another SR version, but I wouldn't farm his SA. Very unlikely for him to get an awakening. Uh, and then there is the Strength World Tournament one that doesn't have a Dokkan awakening yet, who also can be used uh, for farmable super attacks. So there's two units from there, along with the Cell and the Freezer units. So yeah, pretty good event for farming some super attacks. Then we have the next event which drops a SSR Android 17 and 18. Uh, very usable units, you can use them for any uh, Android 17 and 18 units super attacks. So you can use them for a variety of units, units like the 
uh, LR Android 17 and Reps of Universe 7 card. You can use it for pretty much any Android 17. They just can't have future in the tag like that one. Uh, you can use them for the physical Android 17. You can use them for the strength Android 17. You can use them for the AGL Android 18. You can use them for the strength Android 18 for the, yeah, pretty much any of them. They all can be farmed just as long as they don't have future uh, in their name because those are the androids from the Trunks or from Trunks' future uh, alternate universe timeline. Then here we have Khalifla and Kale. Uh, so they are also usable or usable as farmable super attacks. Uh, so they obviously both start in base form. Uh, so you can use them for base form Khalifla and Kales. Uh, so the Tech Khalifla, the Int or Tournament Khalifla, the Strength Kale, the um, Tech or Tournament Kale. And then you can also use obviously the Super Saiyan 2 version uh, of Khalifla as SA for the AGL SS2 Khalifla. So some pretty solid options on that front. Uh, obviously quite a few farmable there. You can't really use the Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Uh, because the physical kale is actually a, um, she's like a berserker kale, uh, so they don't share the same name. But yeah, uh, so that's pretty much it from that perspective. But nice and farmable, the SR versions you'll have to awaken to SSR, and they'll stay as 50% chances, whereas the Super Saiyan 2 versions will be 100% chances. So that's obviously a very, very good as well. So there's a base Goku and a ultimate Gohan uh, that can be farmed from the Universal Survival Saga event. So base Goku's been through them a couple times, but you know there's plenty of base Goku's that you can use. Uh, there's the Strength Namek Goku you can use them for the Int uh, LR Goku. There is the Tech um, SS3 Goku's base form. There's plenty of them. You can awaken him into a UI Sign Goku which can be used for the int UI sign Goku there that we just saw. And in terms of ultimate Gohan, there's plenty of options. The tech ultimate Gohan here you can use them for. Uh, you can't use them for any Gohan teens or anything like that, but there's plenty of ultimate Gohans to use them for. So yeah, overall a solid uh, amount of options and units that you can use. Um, just yeah basically there's plenty of units that you can farm right now there's a lot of good events uh for farming some units so you know i mean you look khalifla kale units gohan units um base form goku units kaba uh, so you can farm kaba units from this uh the only one you can really farm is uh the int kaba uh and you can farm the strength one because you can use him um, as you awaken him and then you can use him as SA fodder for the strength one. So yeah, uh, he's a, a little bit of a pain to do I can awaken so I wouldn't necessarily suggest it but you can still do it, it is an option. And then yeah, finally uh, you can farm um, Kachan from the stage 4 here uh, by taking on Topo multiple times uh, and you will be able to get Kachan uh, and you can use that and trade that in for two Elder Kai's as well. Uh, that stage has a universal survival category bonus. Uh, you can use your boosts, you can use Oolong, you can use whatever, uh, but you can trade it in for Kai's. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a list of all the farmable units. Uh, let me know down in the comments if there's any others. Otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye.